right into the questions. Uh, we have with us today World Travel, Lee Abramonsky. Uh, he is probably one of the world's most traveled people. He has visited over 318 total countries. Good morning, Lee. Good morning. How are you? I'm doing well, thank you. Please, Lee, really, uh, what are your top uh, destinations for 2015? Well, uh, you know, travel is all about discoveries, and I enjoy sharing my experiences with others, which is why I teamed up with Brookside Chocolate's Crunchy Clusters to reveal my top 10 destinations uh, to discover in 2015. Um, Brookside Chocolate is a perfect snack for anyone who enjoys unique flavors and textures, and my top 10 destinations for 2015 are available at facebook.com slash Brookside Chocolate, and my Favorite destination probably in 2015 would be Phoenix, Arizona, because that's where I'm flying later today to go to the Super Bowl on Sunday. So I'm pretty pumped about that. Well, it certainly will be warmer than the, uh, the East Coast is having. Yeah, um, for sure. What about exotic destinations? What's your favorite exotic destination? Well, there's a lot of exotic destinations that I love, but I have to say that for 2015, I think Egypt is my favorite exotic destination to go to because it's such a great time to go because it's so cheap and tourism is really down there. So you can get great deals uh, at some of the top hotels and different uh, venues around the country. And you literally can have sites like the pyramids to yourself, which is amazing. And I've been there a few times and I was there in October and there was no tourists there. We literally had the site to ourselves, which is pretty amazing. Can you share some of the things you've learned from your travels and maybe give us some of your um, wise tips on traveling? Yeah, I mean, I've learned a lot, obviously, when you, you know traveling to every country in the world. But I think my, my biggest uh, thing that I've learned was that people around the world at their core are the same. And they're just good people. And they like the same things that we do. They like hanging out with their friends, with their family. They like sitting around talking about sports and politics and music and everything else. And that to go to a country and to experience it in person, there in the flesh, is different than reading about it on the internet or you know, watching a cable news network talking about like this horrible stuff that's going on in the country. Uh, to actually have a first-hand opinion really changes your mindset and the way you look at the world. That's great. Um, tell us how you prepare for a trip. What, what are some of the uh, things that you do to uh, prepare for a trip? Well, I do a lot of research, number one. You always have to know what you're getting yourself into, especially if you're going to a, a destination that could potentially be a little bit dicey. Um, and then also, I always say take half the clothes and twice the money, uh, because I hate checking bags. Um, but and learn a little bit of the local language. So if you're going to, you know, whether it's France or China or Ethiopia, learn a couple words in the language because it really helps endear you to local people and it makes them want to help you. Like if you're asking for, you know, help, directions, recommendations, whatever it might be. So I'm a big fan of learning just a couple words, like please, thank you, hello, goodbye, that kind of thing. Do you um, what about um, what about food? Do you have a wide palate that you enjoy? All over the world, do you bring Brookside chocolates with you? <laughs> I mean, uh, I do bring Brookside chocolates with me, but I, I pretty much enjoy eating everything. Uh, I'm a big fan of, of really everything. The only thing I don't eat in the world, to be honest, is salmon. So uh, I, I love pizza, I love Mexican food, I love sushi, um, and I like to have snacks with me, whether it's uh, Brookside chocolates, crunchy clusters, or granola bars or even Tabasco sauce. I, I, like, uh, I like pretty much anything, and you always have to eat and, and stay hydrated as well when you travel. Well, thanks for spending time with us this morning. Will you take care and enjoy Phoenix. All right, thanks a lot. Anytime. Take care. Thank you.